Tennis is a great way to stay healthy and fit. It is a sport that can be enjoyed by people of all ages and abilities. It is an excellent form of exercise that can help improve your physical and mental health. Tennis is a great way to get your heart rate up and burn calories. A game of single tennis can burn up to 600 calories per hour, while doubles can burn up to 800 calories per hour. This makes it an ideal form of exercise for those looking to lose weight or maintain their current weight. Tennis also helps build muscles or muscle strength as it requires you to use your arms, legs, and core muscles throughout the game. Tennis is also a great way to improve your coordination and balance. The game requires you to move quickly around the court while keeping track of the ball at all times. This helps improve your agility, reflexes, and overall coordination skills. Additionally, playing tennis regularly can help improve your eye or your hand-eye coordination as you need to be able to hit the ball accurately with precision. Playing tennis also has mental health benefits as well. The game requires you to think strategi strategically about how you will approach each point and how you will respond to your opponent's shots. This helps improve problem solving skills as well as decision making abilities which are important in everyday life situations too. Additionally, playing tennis regularly can help reduce stress levels due to its fast-paced nature which allows players to focus on the present moment rather than worrying about future events or past mistakes. Tennis is also a great way for people of all ages and abilities to socialize with one another in a safe environment. Playing doubles allows players to interact with each other during other or with each other during the game, which helps build relationships between them while having fun at the same time. Additionally, playing in tournaments or joining local clubs gives players an opportunity to meet new people who share similar interests which can lead to long-term friendships being formed over time. Finally, playing tennis regularly can help boost self-confidence levels due to its competitive nature which encourages players to strive for more important or or for more improvement each time they step onto the court as players become more skilled at the same or at the game they will start winning more points against their opponents which will give them a sense of accomplishment that will carry over into other areas of their life or of their life too such as work or school performance levels improving uh, over time to do this uh, newfound confidence that can boost from playing tennis regularly overall there are many good effects that can or that come from playing tennis on both physical and mental health levels that make it an ideal sport for anyone looking for an enjoyable way to stay fit and healthy while having fun at the same time. The advantages of tennis. So tennis is a great sport that offers many physical and mental benefits. It is a sport that can be enjoyed by people of all ages and abilities so the advantages are improve physical health yes yes practice and then uh, well for this playing tennis regularly can help 
improve your physical health in several ways. It is an aerobic activity that increases your health or heart rate and helps you burn calories. It also helps to strengthen your muscles, improve your balance, and increase your flexibility. So, a while ago, I already uh, uh, told this to you. So, mental benefits, social benefits, and fun. Okay? Although there are many advantages to playing tennis, there are also some uh, potential disadvantages. Okay. So, that should be considered before taking up the sport. Number one is injury. As with any sport, there's always a risk of injury when playing tennis due to physical nature of the game. Common injuries include strains, sprains, tendonitis, and even fractures. If proper technique isn't used when serving or volleying shots, to minimize injury risk, it's important to warm up properly before playing and use proper technique when hitting shots in order to avoid overuse injuries such as tendonitis or rotator cuff issues from improper form when serving or volleying shots. There's also a cost. Number two is cost. Playing tennis can be expensive depending on where you live a sport fees may apply at public courts or membership fees may be required at private clubs, facilities in order to play on their courts regularly. Additionally, purchasing equipment such as rackets, balls, shoes, etc can add up quickly if you don't already own them. You know, we need also time commitment because playing tennis requires a significant amount of time commitment in order for players to become proficient at the game. This includes practicing regularly as well as participating in tournaments, matches, which may require travel depending on where they are located. Additionally, Players must also factor in time for warm-up, cool-down activities before and after each session in order to prevent injury. Let's talk about how to win a champ championship. Hmm. Winning a championship in tennis is no easy feat. It requires dedication, hard work, and focus. To become a champion, you must stay focused on your goals and have the determination to reach them. The first step to winning a championship in tennis is to set a realistic goals. Like, uh, you should uh, have an idea of what you want to achieve and how you plan to get there. This could include setting a goal for yourself, such as improving your serve or working on your footwork. Once you have set your goals, it is important to stay focused on them uh, and not get distracted by other things. The next step is to practice regularly. You should practice as often as possible so that you can improve your skills and become better at the game. This could include playing with friends or taking lessons from a coach. It is important to make sure that you are getting enough rest between practices so that your body can recover and be ready for the next session. Eat uh, your uh, food, of course. Food that is rich in uh, uh, protein, vitamins, uh, vegetables, green leafy vegetables that, uh, that can provide a a nourishment to your body. In addition to practicing regularly, it's important to stay motivated and positive throughout the process of winning a championship in tennis. This means staying focused on the end goal and not getting discouraged if things don't go as planned. 
or if you make mistakes during practice or matches. It also means believing in yourself and having confidence in your abilities so that you can perform at your best when it matters most. Finally, it is important to stay disciplined when it comes to training for a championship in tennis. This means following a strict routine, once again, of eating healthy foods, getting enough sleep, of course, and exercising regularly so that you can be physically prepared for competition day. It also means avoiding distractions such as social media or other activities that will take away from your focus in winning the championship. By following these steps, anyone can become a champion in tennis with enough dedication and focus on their goals. Staying focused will help ensure that all of the hard work pays off when it comes time for competition day and will help make sure all of the preparation was worth it in the end. So, aside from winning championship, playing tennis, also need to I also need would like to share about Lord Jesus Christ. Knowing Jesus Christ and applying God's word is a lifelong journey. It is a journey of faith, hope, and love. It is a journey of transformation and growth. It is a journey of discovering who we are in Christ and how to live out our faith in the world. The first step in knowing Jesus Christ and applying God's word is to accept Jesus as your Lord and Savior. This means believing that Jesus died for your sins, was resurrected from the dead, and now lives forever. When you accept Jesus as your Lord and Savior, you are committing yourself to following Him and His teachings. You are also committing yourself to living out His commands in your daily life. The second step in knowing Jesus Christ and applying God's Word is to read the Bible regularly. The Bible contains all of God's instructions of life or life. The life that pleases Him. As you read the Bible, take time to meditate on what it says so that you can understand it better. Ask God for wisdom as you read so that you can apply what you learn to your life. Third step is knowing Jesus Christ and applying God's word is to pray regularly. Prayer is an important part of our relationship with God because it allows us to communicate with Him directly. When we pray, we can ask for guidance, strength, comfort, or anything else we need from Him. We can also thank Him for all He has done for us. Praise Him for His goodness and mercy towards us. The fourth step in knowing Jesus Christ and applying God's Word is to attend church regularly. Church provides an opportunity for us to worship together with other believers who share our faith in Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior. We can learn more about the Bible through sermons or classes offered at church, as well as through fellowship with other believers who can encourage us on our spiritual journey. The fifth step in knowing Jesus Christ and applying God's word is to serve others through acts of kindness or service, projects within our community or church family. Serving others helps us remember that we are called by God not only to love one another, but also to serve one another, found in John 13, verse 34, 35. As we serve others out of love for them, we'll be reminded of how much God loves us too, in 1 John 4, 19. Finally, the sixth step in knowing Jesus Christ and applying God's word is to share our faith with others by telling them about what Jesus has done for us. Matthew 28 verse 19 to 20. We should be ready at all times to give an answer when someone asks us why we believe what we do. In 1 Peter 3 verse 15. Sharing our faith with others gives them an opportunity to hear about 
the good news of salvation through Jesus Christ so that they too may come into a serving relationship or a saving relationship with Him. Romans 10, 14-15 So, knowing Jesus Christ and applying His Word takes time, but it will be worth it when we see the fruit of it produces our lives. As we continue on this journey of faith, may He grant us wisdom so that we may grow closer to Him each day. Thank you and God bless.